What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. I'm once again joined by Tyler, and we are here to introduce our Spider-Man Far From Home community series. This is the first video in our Spider-Man Far From Home community series, and we're going to be doing a video talking about this movie, theorizing, talking about, you know, just general discussions all about this film leading up to the film releasing on July 2nd. We've been doing a community series for Avengers Endgame. The last video of that goes up today as well, so we're doing a lot of things, you know, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, a lot of these characters, and, and we've done this uh, a couple of years in a row now too we also talked about avengers infinity war and in this first video in this kind of introduction to the community series we want to talk about not just spider-man far from home but what spider-man far from home can do for the future of the marvel cinematic universe and more specifically really the future avengers films so we want to talk about why the secret wars saga could start in spider-man far from home there's some elements you know with the multiverse that is going to be introduced or kind of reintroduced in this movie with mysterio with spider-man with Nick Fury and all them that could lead to some very interesting things and really what Tyler has been talking about in past videos on our channel as well. We kind of theorize when the next Avengers movie could be out. What could that Avengers movie be? Who would be in it? So if you guys want to check that out, you're more than welcome to do that as well. So Tyler, you know, they are, you know, kind of, again, reintroducing that multiverse. We, you know, Mysterio, whether or not he actually is from it, whether or not he's good or bad, we'll talk about that in future videos. But what does the potential of just the fact that there could be alternate dimensions or that there definitely are and they're going to possibly play around with it in Spider-Man Far From Home. How do you think that's going to lead not just in this movie but in the future Avengers movies to come? So introducing the multiverse is actually, it, it, it's huge. Um, in my, so my opinion, and I guess it kind of makes sense now why they shifted because originally if you recall, Spider-Man Far From Home was going to be the first film for Phase 4, but now it's the last film of Phase 3. Um, so kind of it kicks off the next saga, because this last saga was the Infinity Saga, so now there's going to be a new saga. Personally, I think it's the Secret Wars Saga, which that's going to have to do with the multiverse, which it already was going to have to do with the multiverse, because that's what it deals with. So that fits. And the multiverse is very important. Because it's a, it's a way to introduce other characters that we haven't seen yet. Um, you can bring in the X-Men, Fantastic Four. Please, God, don't do that. <laughs> Just the X-Men and we're good. Silver Surfer. Maybe that's how they bring in Deadpool or something. That's fine. Uh, no Fantastic Four. Thank you very much. So that's how they're going to be able to... And there's obviously going to be more things. And, and we did a Tony Stark video how... That's potentially how they can have a new Tony Stark played by somebody else. Uh, looks different. Well, because he's not from our universe. It's a totally different universe. His DNA is going to be different. Duh. So possibly even Miles Morales, another Spider-Man from that universe. Um, that's possible. So the multiverse, is it, it, it's so big because it does really cause this. And if it's true in This Far From Home... And if Mysterio truly is from the multiverse, uh, I do believe the multiverse um, is going to be introduced. I do believe that. Um, but it's a matter of, you know, is he really from it? I don't know. But if there are really these tears from the snap that, uh, you know, causes these little tears in the, in the space-time continuum and opens us up to other, you know, universes, multiverses, whatever, then that means that potentially because people when we you know in Captain Marvel and you meet the Skrulls and then it turns out like well wait they're the good guys well how are they going to be the bad guys and people are like well maybe there's rogue Skrulls uh maybe or maybe it's just a different group of Skrulls from a totally different uh universe that come in who are not so nice you know what I mean? I mean, it, it really, if you think about it, the multiverse is so convenient um, for the storytelling that it literally allows you to introduce anything. And they'd be like, so shut up because how don't you know that? <laughs> like, like, well, I thought the scrolls were good. Well, these aren't those scrolls. You, sh you saw them come out of that wormhole. So obviously these are different scrolls, idiot. Like, it's kind of, it, like, literally... But it, but in a way, if you really think about it, it's kind of genius because it allows you, and it's kind of cool 
Because it's kind of like, okay, well, we already met these scrawls. These scrawls look a little bit different. They're clearly not the same. Um, obviously, Captain Marvel, because this would be an Avengers movie. I think the next Avengers movie is Secret Invasion. Um, and I think that these not-so-nice scrawls from a different universe that had a totally different experience, maybe they just decimated the Kree in their universe uh, and, like, are crazy warmongers or something. And they come into ours because they can to possibly take over our universe. And then, well, I mean, you can look into Secret Invasion, but basically they come to Earth. Um, they're on other planets too, but they come to Earth and they try to, they, they copy the identities of these heroes. And then what's, it, it almost becomes like Civil War and you don't know what hero is a scrawl and what hero is not a scrawl. Um, they were not a scrawl like their whole life. That's what some people think. They weren't a scrawl their entire life. Um, they're just like captured. A good bit, literally, picture Nebula from Endgame. The, our Nebula is captured, and then the past Nebula just switches the faceplate and goes back to the present, and everyone thinks that it's her. It's the exact same thing. It's They would capture, let's say, Peter Parker, and they take on his identity and all that kind of stuff. And then he's Spider-Man, and they're just acting like Spider-Man until their plan of attack is... Or not their plan of attack, until their um, plan is ready. Uh, and then all of a sudden you have maybe half of these heroes are actually scrawls, And now, you know what I mean? So it becomes that type of thing where it's like Civil War, but they're scrawls, And, you know, that's what they're going to do. That's, that's my opinion. Um, but that makes sense to be able to do that and introduce that from the multiverse. Uh, because then when you have to beat those scrawls, you don't take it out on the scrawls that you already established that are good. Um, so, there, you know, there's a lot of different things that come from the multiverse. Um, it, it can create plot holes, but it more conveniently can um, close plot holes. Uh, it just adds more to the story. So, really, introducing the multiverse is huge for uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's big for... The Avengers, I personally think um, it's biggest for the Avengers. Um, if you know who Kang is, Kang, there's a comic book line, Kang Dynasty. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we deal with him, uh, possibly in that secret invasion. Um, because I, I either think it's going to be called Avengers Secret Invasion or Avengers Dynasty. Um, so it might be one of those two. And... Maybe he's not in our timeline, maybe he's in a different timeline, but the fact that they used time travel and the quantum realm, um, obviously that affects other universes. Uh, it, affect, it created new timelines. It ripped a hole in the, the space-time. Um, so maybe this Kane the Conqueror is like, hey, you know what? These people need to die because they're messing with something that they shouldn't. So I'm going to go and I'm going to open up or I'm going to go through this time portal and I'm going to go recruit uh, these Skrulls who are very good at fighting and conquering. So I'm going to use them as my army. And now you have Secret Invasion. So, you know, there's a lot of, and for me in my literal living room on the couch, for me to be able to craft that um, j literally just from using a multiverse, it makes it so easy. Um, and when you have all these new stories to tell, you, you're going to want it at some point to become a little bit easier. Um, so, it, I don't know. It just, In my opinion, it, it works, and it works really, really well. And yeah, I agree. I mean, like you said in the beginning, you know, there's obviously a reason why the, the shift was made from making Spider-Man Far From Home Phase 4 to Phase 3. And the, the fact that it is, it is such a vital plot point in Far From Home, and that it has all, always been discussed. You know, it, it was a big thing, obviously, in Endgame with traveling through time and how you kind of open up these alternate dimensions. You have to go back, and you have to put the, the, you know, the stones back exactly where you got them um, to stop that alternate timeline from breaking apart and kind of forming its own, right? It was a big thing in Avengers Endgame, and everybody, everybody and their mom saw Avengers Endgame. So it's a theme and plot point that obviously is connected to a comic line, obviously connected to what a lot of people think that the future of these movies could be, and then the fact that it seems to be the focal point in Far From Home. You know, again, whether Mysterio is from another dimension or not, whether or not the monsters are or not, it's it's the main thing. You know, it's what they're talked about the most. It's at least 
least what we're led to believe from the trailer. So it's obviously something they want to focus very, very hard on, and they're putting it in a very, very vital movie for them in the second Spider-Man movie, a movie that I think a lot of people are obviously going to see. First movie since Avengers Endgame, you know, they're going to go through Tony Stark's death and all that kind of stuff. Spider-Man is a very likable character, so this is a good chance to get that kind of idea out there and kind of... And, Every single one of these movies obviously builds on top of another, right? And and starts to build a story for what's to come. So th there's no mistake of why they're doing it in Spider-Man. It has to obviously connect to something that's going to happen later on, or it's going to be you know mentioned in another movie, or another theme about it will be uh, in another movie. So this is something that's obviously going to be built on through the next couple of years. And like Tyler said, I, I totally agree. I think this is where they're heading next. This will kind of come together for the next major Avengers movie, and. We'll We'll start to see it kind of build over the next few years, especially when we get to know, you know, the next titles, you know, what these movies are going to be, the new characters they're going to introduce, when these movies are coming out. You know, they have a lot of chances to build this new world that they want to do and this new kind of theme of these alternate dimensions. And guys, in the description box below, we have a link to Fandango now. It's an affiliate link through us. If you guys click on that link and you guys buy or rent anything on that website through that link, it would help us out on the channel. Leading up to Spider-Man Far From Home and really leading up through all of these months, Fandango now is doing a Marvel sale where they're giving away and where you can buy or rent Marvel movies, any of the past movies, which does include Spider-Man Homecoming um, at a reduced rate. So if you guys want to check that out, you can link your Fandango account as well. Get points when you go to the movie theater and then use them and redeem them um, for you know to rent or buy movies or TV shows for absolutely free. So you guys can try that if you want. Again, it's in a link in the description below and really would help us out if you guys did that. But guys, we could be totally wrong and if we are, let us know in the comments below. Also let us know nice things. We like to see nice things in the comments as well. But let us know what you guys think of that in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And again, this has been the first video in our Spider-Man Far From Home community series. We're going to be doing a new video every single Thursday leading up to this movie releasing on July 2nd. So every Thursday we got a new video including next week and we hope to see you guys there.